I welcome all my Mana TV viewers for this prevention program. Let me read 3 John verse 2. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well. Nowadays, many people are getting diseases all around and also this problem is going around the world. Hospitals are crowded with patients after patients, day after day, and also this is a big menace for the entire population of our world. Here is a trustworthy saying, prevention is better than cure. An ounce of prevention is the way for good health. The main purpose of my series of talk is to kindle a desire for the people to live a life that is healthy. At the same time, if a person is having a healthy life, there is no need to visit a doctor in their offices or there is no need to go to the hospital. Therefore, a dose of prevention is the antidote for good health. The world is becoming increasingly inimical to create a healthy environment due to negligence and a wrong way of life. The rapid advancement of industrialization, quest for modernization, is making our world inhospitable to live a healthy life. Many times there is no consideration for hygienic living and this way the world is going to face a catastrophe. That catastrophe is nothing but health. Health is the most important thing to see. If you do not have health, many sicknesses and also diseases are going to follow us. That is a catastrophe. If we look at our world today, what about the air that we are breathing? The atmosphere in which we are going to live. We cannot live without air. What kind of air quality we are having in our cities or large cities big cities around the world. There is no place we can say a city where air quality is good. New Delhi, for example, we know, we have heard about the pollution that they are facing day after day, night after night. People are not able to breathe properly, cannot have a clean air. Where are these pollutants in the air coming from? If we look around, we can find out where are these pollutants coming from. Industries, chemical plants, coal plants, automobile, aeroplanes, boats, all these that I have talked about, all these contrivances, machi machineries, automobiles, they pollute the air. Their automobile, for example, carbon, they give carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and hundreds of different kinds of chemicals which are inimical to health. Then, if you look very carefully, 
we can understand that in many areas where people are walking, people are using masks to breathe. Now, is it a good condition for us to follow that uh, keep a, a breathing mask and then walk? It looks awkward. So, we have to do something to clear the air. Then, what is the problem if you have the poor air quality? The problem is respiratory problems, breathing problems, asthma, pulmonary diseases, cancer, neurological problems. All these problems are there if we do not have clean air to breathe. Then, what about the soil? Soil is also as bad as the air quality that we have today. Be for bumper crops, we use artificial fertilizers. Get more profit. We use chemicals. We also use pesticides. So that in using these things, we can understand that soil is no more good for a healthy plant or healthy cultivation. Therefore, the soil is polluted. The plants living in the soil absorb all the pollutants along with the artificial fertilizers that people use. In advanced countries, they even use aircraft to spray chemicals and pesticides so that they can get more profit when the crops are ready. These fertilizers and the spray that the aircrafts are spraying, the pesticides, what they are using. A small amount of pesticides are only reaching to the plants. The rest of the things are actually suspended in the air. So, by using aircrafts, they pollute the air. At the same time, they pollute the plants and they pollute the soil. So, what is going to happen? Here is a phrase called food chain. The plants absorb chemicals, nutrients, and pesticides also along with this. Now, let me give a small understanding or let me give an idea what is food chain. A carnivorous animal or plant eating animals will come and eat the plants sprayed with the pesticides and harmful chemicals. When the carnivorous animal comes and eat the herbivorous animal, all the poisons absorbed by the plants are incorporated into the system of the, of the herbivorous animals and then when a carnivorous animal eats a herbivorous animal, all the poison that is incorporated into the herbivorous animal will be going into the system of the carnivorous animal. Or in other words, from simple to more complex. Plants absorb, then carnivorous eats. When the carnivorous eats, the pollutants, the poisons, and everything is multiplied in the carnivorous animal. When many more, so in other words, from plants to herbivorous to carnivorous, the poisons are greatly multiplied from each stage. Finally, when it comes to the last chain, the last stage of the food chain, human beings. When human beings eat the plants, 
herbivorous animals and carnivorous animals if we eat. We are getting all the pollutants and poisons what they have incorporated into our system and that is greatly multiplied. So who gets the problem? We human beings are going to get the problem. What are the problems? Intestinal diseases, stroke, heart attacks, diabetes, and many other health, unhealthy lifestyles. When we incorporate, all these things will come to us even in our young age. Therefore, the soil is not really good for cultivation. We are getting poisonous food and we are eating them. Then what about our uh, large body of water around the world? How safe is our water? Pollutions. Are we getting uh, clean water or polluted water? We are getting polluted water. Now, the large body of water, what about our oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, how clean they are. All the effluents from cities are going into the lakes, oceans, or rivers. And then, what about all the pesticides? chemicals, they are also washed into the ocean, in the river, in the lakes, and in the streams. Can we drink them? We get sick. Can we take a bath? We get skin diseases and respiratory problems too. So in other words, if I say that the whole ocean, lakes, rivers, they all are one colossal cesspool where people are taking bath, drinking water. So in other words, our water is greatly contaminated. We get sickness, diseases. So there is no way for us to make a healthy living. If we look up, the air is bad. If we look down to the earth, the plants are not good to eat. If we look to the water bodies, we don't have any fresh water, clean water to drink. So, what shall we do in this situation? How can we save ourselves? There is one word. That word is prevention. So, prevention is the only way for good health. So, prevention is the antidote for good health. Here is an overview of some of the topics that I will be discussing along with the prevention. Every topic that I am going to discuss, every diseases that I am going to explain and going to tell everybody I will be also talking about how to prevent all these unhealthy disorders and diseases and how can we es escape from these diseases. I will be explaining that one and every diseases I will also give prevention so that we all will have a good healthy life. Now here are some of the topics. One, metabolic syndrome. What are the metabolic syndromes? I am not going in detail, but I will ex tell you what are these things. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of disorders that we face every day. For example, diabetes high blood pressure, that is also called hypertension, stroke, heart attacks. All these are 
we can say in a way that metabolic syndrome. Then I will also discuss about infectious diseases, how we can prevent them. I will also discuss sexually transmitted diseases. What are they? How can we avoid? And also general topics of interest for general people, general population. Why that is so important? So we have number one, metabolic syndrome. Number two, infectious diseases. Number three, sexually transmitted diseases. And then general topics of interests. That can be several areas. That also I will talk. Briefly, let us look into metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome can bring health disorders. As I have mentioned, stroke, diabetes, hypertension, and also cardiovascular diseases. In India, metabolic syndrome has reached to endemic and epidemic proportions. Probably, Kerala stands in the front line for these metabolic problems. Some of the disorders in the metabolic syndrome, as I have mentioned, diabetes, blood pressure, heart attacks, strokes. What are the contributing agents for these degenerative diseases? The contributing agents are, one, cholesterol, two, triglyceride, three, overweight and obesity, four, sedentary lifestyle and not having any exercise, large, protruding stomach and a large waistline. All these things are actually contributing agents for metabolic syndrome along with alcoholism and smoking. So we all practice, we all do all these things. Therefore, we should change our lifestyle, escape from all these things, wrong habits, and have a good health. Now, in nutshell, let me give you within few sentences, what are these agents? How they do problems to us? Now, cholesterol. We have heard when we visit the doctor's office for some ailment, sometime doctors will say, Oh, let us check your cholesterol. So when doctor says about, uh, let me, let us uh, check the cholesterol levels, that means he is talking about the total cholesterol. Under total cholesterol, then we have low density lipoprotein, that is called bad cholesterol. In short, it is called LDL. Then we have HDL in short form HDL and that is called high density lipoprotein and that is called good cholesterol. Now what is low density lipoprotein bad cholesterol? Bad cholesterol is actually it can coat the inside of our blood vessels. When they coat inside of the blood vessels they become narrower, narrower and narrower and the blood flow is compromised. And when the blood flow is compromised, people who has the LDL or bad cholesterol, they may end up with a heart attack or they may end up with a stroke. And then how can we prevent this, uh, not to have this bad cholesterol in our system? Well. The thing is food, that means meat, meat products, they all have bad cholesterol. Then shellfish, that is seafoods, some of the seafoods, they have bad cholesterol. 
And therefore, if we do not eat much of these things, we can have a good healthy life, healthy lifestyle, and we can also prevent some of these disorders. Good cholesterol, HDL, high density lipoprotein, what do they do? They actually clear the blood vessels. That means all the bad cholesterol, they slowly take it out from our system. And therefore, it can open the blood vessels. So, the blood pressure can be reduced. Stroke, we can minimize. Heart attacks, we can minimize. So, what are some of the foods that uh, give us uh, good cholesterol? Uh, any dissolvable, soluble fiber like uh, g whole grains, like uh, oats, dried beans, pulses, all these, they contribute good cholesterol. But there are other things also we can mention, but I will mention about later. Then also triglyceride. Triglyceride is actually, is a villain for strokes and also for uh, diabetes and also for uh, heart attack. Where are they? All the saturated fats, what we see on the meat and meat products, they are triglyceride. Therefore, when we eat meat, remove all the saturated fats and try to eat lean meat as far as possible uh, to not to have triglyceride in our system. Then, sedentary lifestyle. That means we are lazy to do exercise. Do some activities. Walk, run, and have an exercise program. And these programs will help us not to have any stroke, increase good cholesterol, and also uh, all cardiovascular uh, disorders can be minimized and diabetes can be controlled. And therefore, start a, an exercise program today. Smoking. Smoking is another problem. That means smoking also can contribute cardiovascular disorders, neurological problems, and also we look older than our biological age. Therefore, smoking also can cause cancer and many other things. In my coming lectures, I will be speaking about the problems of all these things. And then alcoholism is another problem. We have a real problem for that one. Therefore, encourage the young people and the family people not to have any alcoholic drinks at home. Alcoholism can bring diabetes and liver disease, heart problem, and many other complications will come. Therefore, try not to have alcoholic drinks at home or so in social drinking or from the restaurants. What can we do to improve our health and reduce chances of getting metabolic syndrome? The simplest answer is prevention. There is nothing else. Remember, a dose of prevention is the way to good health. So decide today a, a right about turn from our old ways and live a life that is good for health. Take a right path. If smoking is a problem, make a change. It is possible to make a change. Also, individuals to look older when we do not have a good health. Guidelines for good health. Too much consumption of any fats are not healthy. Avoid saturated fats in the food if possible. We all need a small amount of saturated fats. Then add polyunsaturated fat and mono unsaturated fat in your diet. 
what is uh, mono unsaturated fat mono unsaturated fat is actually olive oil peanut oil canola oil all those things so add those things so that it will increase good cholesterol and it will protect the heart and also it will uh, help your brain to think properly then there is another fat called polyunsaturated fat for polyunsaturated fat actually oil like uh, sunflower oil and that is actually good for cooking too that will also reduce the ldl and therefore we will have a good clean circulatory system blood vessels devoid of saturated fats low density lipoprotein and increase high density lipoprotein how can we decide how can we know which is saturated fat which is monounsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fat take butter and olive oil and sunflower oil in the refrigerator and then after a few hours bring all those oil out fats out and then saturated butter will be solid that is saturated fat any oil solid in the room temperature is going to be saturated fat and then any oil is cloudy when we take from the refrigerator and if the oil is getting cloudy then it is mono unsaturated fat if the oil is very clean when we take from the refrigerator then it is poly unsaturated fat so so far i have given you a brief introduction about prevention and metabolic syndrome in the coming weeks i will be giving you detailed information about the problems of metabolic syndrome cardiovascular diseases uh, sexually transmitted diseases infectious diseases and general topics for health all these topics are good for professionals general public students aspiring for medical professions and anyone who wishes to improve health all these topics are good for general public students aspiring uh, for medical professions professionals and anyone who wishes to improve health your suggestions and comments are welcome remember prevention is the only way to good health see you next week at the same time on this manna tv channel wishing you always best health dear friends i pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you even as your soul is getting along well mm-hmm.